To drill accurate tube holes and pen blanks, two good methods include using a drill press or a lathe. If you choose to use the drill press, secure the pen blank in a support or pen blank drilling center vise. Ensure that the drill press table is perpendicular to the bit and that the bit is centered over the top of the end of the blank. To drill the tube holes on the lathe, support the stock with a dedicated pen blank drilling chuck in the headstock and a Jacobs chuck in the tailstock to house the bit. No matter what method you choose, use a slow bit speed and back the bit out of the material repeatedly to clean the wood chips from the bit flutes. Cleaning the flutes frequently results in less stress on the walls and end of the blank and reduces the chances of splitting the blank. When it comes to drilling tube holes and pen blanks, there is often a specific bit best suited for the material being drilled. A brad point bit works great for wood, but you'll need to switch to a high speed steel bullet shaped bit for acrylics. The proper bit will minimize or eliminate chip out and reduce the chances of splitting the blank when drilled. Whether you use cyanacrylate or epoxy to bond the tube inside a blank, make sure to apply an even coat of the adhesive onto the entire exterior of the tube. One good method is to place the adhesive on a piece of waxed paper taped to a flat work surface. Then, roll the tube back and forth through the adhesive. Use a popsicle stick to smear a coat on the entire exterior surface. Place a bit of the adhesive into the hole in the blank and use an insertion tool to slowly twist and push the tube into the blank to get an even adhesive film on both mating surfaces. Although the adhesive will set quickly, you'll get a stronger bond if you allow the adhesive to cure overnight. Use a barrel trimmer to trim the ends of the blank flush with the ends of the tube and to remove any adhesive that may have gotten into the tube. To avoid reducing the length of the brass tube when trimming the ends of the wood blank, take extremely shallow final trim cuts. A good method is to use a bright light positioned behind the blank. When the trimmer comes in contact with the tube, the burnished end of the tube will shine, indicating you've completed the operation. Don't over drill. Reducing the length of the brass tube can prevent the pen parts from properly fitting together during the assembly process. All is not lost when you meticulously turn a pen blank only to have a small piece of the blank separate from the tube and fly off. If you can recover the chipped out piece, use cyanacrylate to adhere it back in place. Another method is to fill the blown out area on the blank with a small amount of adhesive and pack fine sanding dust from the material being turned into the void. Learning new tips and techniques help transform your pens from ordinary to spectacular and allow you to create more pens in less time. Work at perfecting your process for a great end product.